Today we're studying the Egyptian Pharaoh and we're going to be using um, a gold scratch board that's covered in black paint to make an Egyptian Pharaoh. So what I'd like you to do is go into Google Classroom and go to Classwork. Once you're in Classwork, click on, you'll see it like this, Week 5 Egyptian Funerary Masks and Designs. Read the directions here and then we will be looking at as a group at the Google Slides or if you're sick or at home you can look at them on your own. This is a YouTube video that's been made by someone else. Um, you can watch that one. She's, she does it um, directly on the scratch board, but I would like for you to read these directions right here and make sure that you're doing it by folding the paper and making it symmetrical, and that means that it's the same on the right and the left. back and there's also a document in here that has all the different kinds of um, headdresses that they used and there's some um, so the crowns there's also Egyptian symbols you can put those in as well like in the background so I'm going to start by showing you how you will begin You'll get a piece of paper like this. This paper is the exact same size as your black scratch board paper. And it is 8.5 by 11. So you're going to hold it the long way and fold it. So we're folding it so that it's a long, skinny piece of paper. Some of you like to call it hot dog. Um, fold it in half like that. And keep the fold on the left side if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed you're going to do it opposite. And you're going to just draw half of the face. So if you want with your directions here you can um, fold the paper so that it's symmetrical or the same on both sides like this X. And I'm going to do it right on the line. a line in the middle of his face and then when I'm looking at it notice that there's a little gap between the fold of the paper and the eye if you put the eye too close to the fold it's like he's gonna look cross-eyed so you can put one next to the other and you're gonna start by I like to start with the outline of the face and the ear first And you can make his chin pointy or round. And then again, making sure that you're going a little bit out from the fold when you do your eye. Then I'm doing half of the nose. It's kind of like a J with um, almost like a half circle there. Then I'm going to do the lips. You don't have to put in every single detail. Now I'm going to do the headdress. And you can choose a different headdress. It doesn't have to look like this one. You can choose any of the ones that are in the examples. Like that. And he has this long thing on the end of his chin. 
get some lines going through it. And you're going to take your time. I'm doing this rather quickly just to give you an idea. You can put all your stripes on here, do the shoulder, and there's like a almost like a necklace that he has on the bottom of his chest. So I'm not going to do all the details. The idea is for you to understand how to do the transfer. So transferring just means copying. So now I'm going to open this up and you'll see that I only have half a face. But I want to get a face on this side. So I'm going to fold it in the other direction. Try to find where my fold is. And I want it so that my pencil lines are on the top. So this is the top side now. And you can take the end of your pencil and press really hard like that using the metal part. Or you can take a pair of scissors and use that. And what you'll find is it starts to transfer and it's got like a very ghostly image right here. So you have to spend a little bit more time really pressing to get this to show up in these metal scissors that have a little bit more pressure here. So then once you have it, you're going to continue and you're going to redraw what you see here. Let me see if I can get the eye in there. And that will make it symmetrical. So it's the same on both sides like a mirror image. Now you get the idea. Same on both sides. Then you're going to take it and you're going to use some tape. And you're going to tape it to a board. So you're going to be given a board that has nothing on it. This one has something on it. And you'll take this and tape it right on there, like that, and tape it down. Just fold it around and put it, put tape on both sides. You don't need a lot of tape. So I'm going to take this off because I actually have one that goes with this. So this is one that I've already prepared. And I'm going to line it up. Tape it on. Don't need very much tape. It's hard, you know, if you've put it on here once before, it's not going to line up exactly the next time you go to do it. So then you're going to press really hard just on top of here, and it should transfer to the other side. If it, if it doesn't transfer just by pressing, like let's see if I just press... You can see that there's a little bit of a line right here. Maybe you can't, but there is a little bit of a line. Um, if it's not transferring at all, we're going to put pencil on the back. So shade the back like this. Hold your pencil under your hand like this and shade the back over all the areas where the drawing is. Then tape it on. Once it's taped on, you redraw all the lines, and I've already done it on here, so I don't want to, you know, mess it up by putting the lines in the wrong place. So let's say you've drawn all, redrawn all the lines, then you take this piece off, and don't throw this out, because if you mess this one up, I need to be able to grade this one. You're going to take a picture of both the drawing and the scratch art. So I've already done it on this one, and it's a little bit hard to see, but these are the pencil lines that have come through, and now I can use my scratch art tool to start scratching. So I get a tool that looks like this, and notice that the tool is uh, pointy at one end, and it's a little bit rounded here. You want to have it so that the 
the high side is facing away from your drawing board and the part that's indented is facing towards the board and then you're going to use the whole length of this blade right here not just the tip if you just use the tip you're going to scratch through the gold right to the white paper on the back and then it won't look gold it'll look white so you're going to very gently start always pulling if you're right-handed you're always going to be pulling right to left This does raise some dust. You can just go like that onto the floor or onto the table and clean it up later. If you have something like a circle, I turn the board so that I'm always pulling right to left. So just keep rotating it until you get all the way around the circle like that. You have a curved line like um, around his neck here. You're also going to be going right to left. So again, you're working sometimes upside down, sideways. Clean it off periodically if it gets stuck and it seems like it's not pulling the gold, pulling the black off the gold. And then once you've got all your outlining done, you're going to go back in and decide where you want more gold to show. So like I'm doing mine as stripes, and I'm just going to pull off more of the gold here. And this is where you're going to get a lot of that dust. Be careful when you're doing it because you can scrape away, but you can't Put the black back on. You want to do it slowly and carefully. Like that. And turn it this way. Go up and down. You could do it so it gives it like a crisscross pattern, which is called um, cross hatching. You can do some of the buttons or different designs in there and when you're all finished you can also add some symbols in the background so I have another one that was done by a student where you can put like uh, the Ankh which is like eternal life put any one of the symbols that are on the pages in Google Classroom and just add it to your design like that and then this is what it'll look like when it's done so it'll look something like that and when you take the picture you're going to sometimes get reflections of colors of things nearby which can also make it look interesting like I'm getting some red in there but you want to make sure that you know the face shows up look at that I got red lips so take the picture and upload it to Google Classroom